The coast life as we know it just might not be the same if it wasn't for people like W.J. Quarles. He's considered a pioneer for Long Beach. Quarles was a farmer, opened the city's first school, post office, and general store. In the late 1800s, he built a home on a property called Greenvale. Today, the home is rebuilt to mirror its original appearance, both inside and out. What is old is new again. The great-grandchildren of W.J. Quarles donated their family home to the city of Long Beach. On Saturday, the family and community celebrated the completion of a years-long restoration process of the home first built in 1892. First of all, y'all go through the house and enjoy it. I love that thing. Right there. My great-grandfather was one of the founders of the town. He was really devoted to uh, the community, as was our great-grandmother, and we just felt as though it should be given to the community. The historical society said we want to take it back to natural, what it began as. The oldest known home in Long Beach isn't in its original location. Decades ago, the family moved it a short distance from Railroad Street to the property where the family cemetery is across from the post office. The home survived the move, and over the last couple of years, the restoration started taking shape. It's been hand cleaned, stripped, sanded, and polished, and varnished, and all this stuff to get it back to this, this stage. Little by little, we got some people excited about trying to preserve it, but never did I think of it being totally restored. It really took the city and this community, you know, the, the schools, the historical society, everybody pulling together to make this happen. Although structurally the house was sound, it still presented plenty of challenges for the builders. If you see this front porch that's on there, uh, none of that was there when we started this project. We, we had to add the porch on. Uh, one of the storms, maybe Camille, destroyed it. The inside of the home features vintage furniture passed down through generations of the Quarles family. It's also a place to celebrate the Quarles legacy W.J. created after moving to the coast from Tennessee. The Quarles uh, store, store right. was out front. He came down and, and one thing he noticed was you know, he could farm all year long. There was no real winter here. And so he could grow crops all, week, all winter long, all year long. The Long Beach red radish. Uh, kind of came out of here and he hybridized beans and also pecans. The home is now open for the public to learn not just about the Quarles contributions but also a showcase for all of Long Beach history. We're looking forward to, to bringing all that history together to be able to carry the history of Long Beach forward here. What you think? I think it's gorgeous. My mother wrote the book Rosalie and Radishes in 1980 and uh, in preparing to come down here, I sort of was reading the book and she had a simple sentence, the Quarles home is to be restored. She had a belief that this community would pull together and restore the home. And you know, that I think is amazing. Now restored, there's more stories to tell and songs to play in Greenvale. That was wonderful.